Okay, we're back here live in Las Vegas. This is theCUBE, SiliconANGLE, Luki Bond's flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm joined by my co-host. Hi everybody, I'm Dave Vellante, wikibon.org. Jagesh Zaheba is here. He is the chief architect of the ADP Innovation Labs. He's a CUBE alum. Uh, Jagesh, welcome back to theCUBE. Nice to be here. It was, um, it was in New York we, uh, we had you on, right? Yes. It's uh, Mongo. Absolutely. And now you know, it, it, you know, it was Tengen, now it's Mongo. <laughs> they changed the name, good move. Yes. But, uh, <laughs> we had the, guy, the founder of Datastax uh, on earlier today. We should have asked them, John, are you going to change your name to Cassandra? Cassandra. <laughs> you know? I know. Well, anyway, welcome back. Good to see you again. Good to be here. So the ATP Innovation Labs, um, you, you have a lot of titles. You're CTO, VP, but, but, but the, a, the ADP Innovation Labs, really, you know, your, your, your latest focus. Talk about the Innovation Labs. A lot of people don't associate ADP with a technology company, an apps company, you know, somebody who's playing in the cloud because you know, you've got a reputation in you know, other businesses, but talk about the Innovation Labs. So uh, Innovation Lab was started a few years ago, and uh, our mission is to create relevant, consumable, uh, cutting edge technology solutions for our clients so they can manage their most important assets, the people. And uh, our offering today is our mobile offering out of the Innovation Labs, but we have a number of other initiatives that we're working on to and introduce new ideas and solutions uh, in our products. Okay, so um, we, got, we got to ask you, so we were, we were sharing the uh, Wall Street Journal article this morning, so you, you and uh, your CIO and some of your other colleagues were quoted. Uh, there was an article in the CIO Journal within the Wall Street Journal about ADP, um, and the interesting piece that a lot of people don't know is that you guys are a major player in the the human resource, human capital management marketplace. Mm -hmm. You compete with the likes of, of Oracle, SAP, your IDC has you number three in the marketplace uh, behind those two. Workday, obviously up and coming. So talk about your initiatives. Let's uh, sp start specifically with the, uh, the, the HR piece, uh, but let's talk broader, more broadly about the software in a moment as well. So we, are, we offer the, the broadest array of products uh, in area of HCM, human, human capital management. And uh, ADP, um, you know, innovation is, is nothing new to ADP, but I think more concentrated efforts out of the labs and having dedicated environment within a company like ADP to foster that, that kind of uh, uh, attitude is a revision of our CIO, Mike Capone, to, and it, it, you must have heard that we opened another location uh, in the city uh, to kind of further uh, his vision of the bringing innovation culture to ADP. Now, so you guys, obviously there was, a, in that article they talked about how you guys, you know, leverage LinkedIn and, and for, for recruiting. Um, so talk a little bit about your, your area of emphasis in that space. Are you sort of more recruiting, talent management? Are you doing core HR? Where's your, where's the innovation focus? So we're very well aware of the major disruptor in the market force. Be mobile, social, cloud-based computing, and analytics, right? The, and we're embracing all these technologies and looking at our product set and say, how can we ingrain social within our products? Not as a bolt-on, but kind of ingrain social aspects throughout our product line. So when user is using our system, they have the capability and ability to make informed decisions either through real-time analytics within our products as well as leveraging the social medium to get the job done. So it is, it is nothing to say it is concentrated on one area of, of, of ADP, but we, we're realizing this disruptor in the marketplace and improving our products by ingraining these uh, concepts. I mean, you guys are developing hundreds of applications, right? Yes, we have hundreds of applications. We use 60 years of industry experience. Uh, the breadth is quite wary. Yeah, so talk about cloud a little bit and how the whole SaaS model has changed your business, because you guys have been around for a while. Yes. Um, so you had to respond to that trend. Talk about how you've responded. So today we have over 300,000 clients on our SaaS platform. Um, and we, we're not new to SaaS. I think Mike Capone has been saying all along that we've been doing cloud for a long, long time. And being able to bring services quickly in a very cost-effective manner to end user with the minimum requirement from our clients, minimum investment for our clients and consume services from the cloud makes perfect sense in the, in the industry we are in. So talk a little bit more about the, the innovation lab. So 
you know, roughly how big is it? Um, What's the process that you guys use to innovate? Is it R and D uh, versus uh, just applied engineering? What is it? What's it? No, the innovation is is nothing to say we create something, we throw it over the wall, and our products adapt. Right? We do grow products, incubate products. So you can think of it as a startup within a within a big company with a you know deep pockets, <laughs> per se, <laughs> if I could say that. Uh, but it is a startup mentality that we're trying to innovate, use technologies, and you know, really step out of the, uh, step out of the box and So you're and building see. products, you're building. We're building products, okay. we still own mobile. We still operate mobile out of the innovation labs. And the idea is that grow the product, grow the technology, use it, understand it, operate it, and graduate it so our, our other products uh, can leverage the, the similar technology. You guys have a big customer base, obviously payroll, uh, HR, all those things that run companies. Mm -hmm. um, you can't really get, get things wrong. You got to have all kinds of backup and redundancy. So how has Splunk helped you? Let's talk about um, uh, the conference here and tie that back. So obviously it must be a godsend for you to have Splunk because you have all this data, Absolutely. different structured data, unstructured data. Can you just elaborate on the, on the Absolutely. Splunk? Absolutely. Uh, so a few years ago when we rolled out our mobile, mobile solutions offering, we wanted, it was a business critical application, right? We were embracing mobile and we wanted to have complete visibility, 360 degree view of how this product is functioning, how it's being perceived in the marketplace, and have that feedback loop so we can improve product continuously by collecting real data and real information the way our end user uses it. And Splunk is a, a, a critical component of the success we had with this product. Using Splunk, we're able to monitor end to end so imagine a web request entering your web tier, going all the way to your backend systems and databases. We're able to monitor and have traceability of the request all the way through our systems to detect and understand the processing steps, help us identify root cause of the problem. But more importantly, going beyond IT ops, we're using Splunk to capture a lot of the business metrics so our product managers can make informed decisions on what feature feature functions are used more often, when they're used, do we see, you know, during, during the tech season of April 14th, W2 statements, you know, went off the roof. So we're, now we have real data feeding back into our product cycles, and that's very important what Splunk brings to the table. We were at Oracle Open World last week, we had Max Shireson on theCUBE from CEO of, of Mongo, you guys are Mongo customer. How are you using Mongo and Splunk together, and, and, and are you, are you forcing those guys or helping those guys work together? Or? Uh, they're, they're, uh, they're quite a, a complementary technology, right? So Mongo is our mobile database and our caching layer. And Splunk gives us visibility not only for Mongo, we did create a custom application to monitor MongoDB, but Splunk is giving us visibility throughout the landscape. Right, every systems we touch as part of the offering of the mobile solutions, we're able to monitor uh, uh, and, and understand the usage patterns. Okay, so let's talk about mobile real quick. Mobile, I know we're, we're tight on time, but I want to get your take on mobile. Uh, Bug Sense, big announcement for these guys, and also in your business. How is mobile shaping how you guys think about the technology? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to learn about BugSense. Uh, today we instrumented our application to collect information such as your offline activity and feed it back to the server side. But what BugSense will allow us to do is capture much more detailed information. So I'm, I'm interested in learning about, about BugSense. But mobile in general, right, it is, it, it is a necessary uh, a component of our offering. And, and the, the reception of the mobile offering has been tremendous uh, to date. So yes, thanks for coming inside theCUBE. I'll give you the final word. Tell the folks out there what it's like here at the conference. Obviously, uh, it's growing. It's still an intimate, intimate community here amongst the Splunkers, the employees, and then the customers. I don't know what you call, I guess you call the customers Splunkers. Um, <laughs> but uh, t explain to the folks the vibe, the feeling. What's it like here? Describe in your own words what, what's going on here. Uh, I find this extremely energetic. Mm. The Splunk people are gracious. Uh, they've been very helpful, and uh, the event has been absolutely phenomenal. And they're fun, uh, right? And they're fun. <laughs> and we have a uh, great parties. venue. <laughs> the venue's great. Great venue, but I think, I think the people make the difference, right? I mean, my interactions with Splunk people has always been 
uh, absolutely fantastic, very friendly, uh, very upfront, very direct, and very easy to work with. Yeah, and they're smart too, and they're very, and they're, they love, like I said like yesterday, I wrote a blog post on it, they're very product-centric, they're a product-centric company, they believe in product excellence, which, you know, I love to hear, I'm a product guy, so, uh, you know, good product always saves the day, and good marketing, and good, good, good market momentum as, helps as well. And it, absolutely, it, customer it, focus yeah. too, so it, it's, it's... It helps as a mega trend called big data, <laughs> you know, <Yes. laughs> and machine data, data exhaust, uh, as we say, spinning, Data exhaust into gold, as they, as they <laughs> say yesterday. Just thank you so much for coming inside the cube. Really it's appreciate good to be it. Here. ADP, thank you very much. great company. Thank you Wall very Street much. Journal feature story yesterday. Congratulations, Innovation Labs, uh, analytics, great stuff. We we'll right back. This is the cube, exclusive coverage in Las Vegas. I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante. This is the cube. We we'll right back with our next guest after this short break. The 